Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango etc. and I'm here today to bring the review of Fairy Tale Manga Chapter 480. So first things off, we are told, but we know this already, that August is on his way. Now during this video, he gets a bit more hype about him as well, making us think, yo, this might be someone who needs to be feared kind of vibe. That's the kind of vibe I was getting from it early on in the chapter. Then we flip over to Mavis and Kano, and this is where we find out that Mavis has an idea now that she saw Jacob get defeated and that she's had time to dwell on it, she now has an idea how to defeat Zarif once and for all. And she says, I'm, I can't go into exact details right now, but Kana, what I need you to do for me is destroy the, lac the lacrima which, which contains my body. And the way that she can do this is by destroying the astro projection form of her that we see now. Now, Kana doesn't want to do this at first, but well, Mavis is uh, talking her into it. I think what's going to happen here is that we're going to get Mavis now acting within her real body. And then again, the plan will play into her. I'm into play, dear, but I don't know enough about that right now. So we have to wait and see what happens. So then we switch over to Gadjo's team. And now I can't remember if they were heading towards uh, Pegasus and Sabretooth. Or they was waiting for them to come to them, but a bunch of the Alvarez army has defeated them already. We see them straight crucifixion pose and all everything tied to logs and all that. So they've been easily defeated, which is deep. Which is deep. So that's what's going on with them. They're about to fight. Then we skip over to some scenes, like well, I should say, some panels. Obviously. Wendy getting healed, not magically, and then you see Lexus just chilling for some reason, I don't know what I'm there, but the end of the chapter ends off with Urza, can't remember her name, Samurai Chick, and Jael, they run into another member of the Twelve Spragon, now this member of the Twelve Spragon has some sort of history, magic, or past magic, whatever you want to call it, where he can show people their past and now he's using this to their advantage by showing them their old friend and obviously it's my, basically he's playing mind games and that's what it looks like his magic is going to be the main focus of his magic is going to be is just playing mind games but I don't think that he, this member of the Twelfth Dragon is going to be strong and his magic will not help him in battle physically this is the kind of vibe that I'm getting right now. It will help him to distract them mentally, but it won't help them to defeat them physically, in a physical standpoint. So I think that along the lines, it will just be a load of mind games being played. And then eventually they come to terms with their past, which they should have had done already because it was years ago. And then that's when they will defeat this member of the Twelfth Spread. And this is what I see happening in the next chapter or chapter after that but that is everything to happen within the chapter a nice standard chapter of fairy tales so i'll give it the standard free like always guys i'm asking for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already please subscribe to my youtube channel most importantly take care have a nice day